How's it going, my iTrack Bikes fam? Uh, Coach Cody here, bringing you through an important little tip today on how to foam roll properly. So I'm sure you guys have seen these at some point. Uh, these little foam rollers, I actually have two, a, a, a big one and a smaller one. It really doesn't matter which size that you use. Uh, you kind of just want uh, whatever is going to be fitting to the body parts that you're going to be rolling. So real quick, so what is foam rolling? So it's called self myofascial release. So basically think of this as a technique to get all the gunk that can kind of get hard around the muscles and the ligaments. This is what's going to give you uh, a little bit more fluidity. So it's almost like a little self massage. It actually feels good for the most part. Some of them maybe not so good, but here is most important are the techniques of how to do it, and then I'll show you which muscle groups that you can hit, but the sky's the limit. So basically when you're foam rolling, and I'm gonna start with my hamstrings because it's probably the easiest to demonstrate. Make sure you're never going into uh, the joint, so I wanna stay above my knee joint in the back, and I don't wanna necessarily go into the butt right now. I'm gonna show you like a different way to, to massage your glutes. But basically when you foam roll, think of it as a really, slow roll, like two seconds per inch, okay? You wanna take it nice and slow all the way up the meat of the muscle, okay? So a lot of people get on it and they're like, oh, rolling pin, just like this. No, you gotta take it slow. And when you feel something that feels kind of tender or sensitive, just kinda of hang out on top of it. Uh, and it's gonna help break up that muscle. And what I'll do is kind of flex back and forth if I have like a spot that feels kind of tender. Now hamstrings normally isn't the spot that I'm gonna feel that, but man, if I go down to the calves, they're a little bit smaller. Ooh, and since we're on these all day, now you'll notice what I just did. So you can do both calves at the same time, or if you lift up one leg, you're gonna put more pressure on that particular uh, muscle. So you can kind of choose to do what you wish. So, that's the simplicity of it. Nice and slow when you're rolling. So we have our calves that we can roll, which I just showed, your hamstrings. Uh, my favorite, and a lot of you will love this too, is the back. So make sure when you're coming down on the foam roller, again, we don't wanna go into the lower back, kinda of go into that mid-back area right here. And I use my hands to support myself. I can prop them up right here. And I just kinda of take this nice and slow up and down the back. And to get into one side, I can shift over into that lat. Oh yeah, right there. Just make sure you're never putting direct hard pressure on your lower back. So you've got hamstrings, calves, back. You can flip it over onto your quads as well. This is also a good one. And if I'm doing one quad, I may lift up, kick my leg out. Those inner thighs, you kind of have to awkwardly shift onto that foam roller, but just kind of roll yourself in. Um, and then also, yes, we can even get all the way to the upper body if I want to come down to my pecs, my chest. Uh, now that one right there, that's a surprise one. I love this one right here at the top of the pecs. If you've got tight, if you get kind of tightness up here um, or you're sitting at a computer all day, this guy kind of helps release through that pec. So it's just right into that armpit and you'll find it. Um, so don't worry about necessarily, you can't do it wrong unless you're rolling directly in to one of the joints. But just a quick cover real quick. So the foam rolling, you can get these guys pretty much anywhere online, Walmart, Target, Amazon. Um, don't spend a lot of money on them. I would just go for the condensed foam. Uh, take it slow, stay out of the joint, and enjoy. Until next time, be safe, be well.